Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome down. It is myself and Mr. Matthew Fryer down here at the beautiful Formby Ladies Golf Club, and we have a very special video for you today, courtesy a treat of Mr. Matthew Fryer. We have in our bags some Dunlop 65s, which are how old, Matt? Uh, 1975 these golf balls are from so 45 years 45 years old almost double both mine and Matt's age and what <laughs> we're going to do here is we're going to play a course hog now we're going to do it over nine holes but there's a twist we've only got a limited supply of these balls obviously they're quite rare and here's what we're going to do we're both going to be playing with one ball match play if we lose a ball the person loses the match. So if down this first hole, Matt pipes it off into the heather, loses the ball, then you'll probably tell by this five minute video what's happened. Yeah. It's pretty simple. What a, game. <laughs> what a great game. <laughs> and these Dunlop 65s, they're just like wound elastic inside. There's nothing really complicated about them. I am they're just- smaller as well. The, the actual ball size is smaller, so they won't go anywhere near as far as a <laughs> conventional ball. I can't wait to see, um, well, I can't wait to see just how, <laughs> just how short and how egg-shaped this will become. I think what we'll do is just take a snapshot of this here, and then we'll see what this is like. Uh, see what this is like in a few holes. Yeah, that's going to be the other test. They obviously they don't hold the shape or wear as well as modern balls. So what you would see from a lot of old golf balls would be like they, they look like they've got little eggs popping out of them, big gashes. So. <laughs> If you keep your ball all of the nine holes, the next challenge is what will it fly like this when is... it looks like a rugby ball? Exactly. What could be using here? Not going driving there? No, I'm going to get a five iron, try and get it in the fairway and <laughs> keep my ball with that, uh, that ultimatum you put on the first shot. What a wimp. What a wimp. I'm going to straight out with driver here. Oh. oh, what a flight. A little soft draw. Right down the middle of the fairway. Tell you what, that was brilliant. Get him in the bag. I got a Dunlop 65 number four. Lovely. Dunlop oh, you, yours is red. Four. It's like the Pro V and the Pro V X. I've got the black one. You've got the red one. Have I, have I, I've got Pro V X. Yeah, you've got Pro V X. I think five's too much then. Oof, no. might, be on, might be on the green. Oh, nice. Ball flight as well. First reactions. I, I personally think you've got the best idea for a course vlog ever here. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, lo I'm loving this already. And if you like the idea of this video, please do not feel shy to head down there, subscribe to my channel. Also, subscribe to Matthews. Got some really, really good stuff out there. And of course, these are his golf balls. Hit that like as well. Get down into those comments. Let us know what you think. Get down there right now and actually see and say, see and say, how many holes you think we'll get through. I... <sighs> I'm, I, I'm actually pretty confident. I reckon we'll get through at least seven or eight. There's only a few holes that I think, or oh, we could really lose a ball. Solid game plan. Mm. The, well, uh, and, the, and the sort of appreciation for the golf balls will make us take more care instead of just throwing another Pro V down and whacking it. <laughs> here's, what, here's what we've got to do though. If we get to the last hole, we've still got them. We've got to pull driver. On the ninth hole. We have to pull driver on the ninth. Right. It's got a nice little funnel towards the green, so yeah, I'm going for that. All I'm thinking, last time we played here, you lost the ball there, so. I did, yes, yeah. But we don't need to talk about these, that. These balls don't hook, though. <laughs> got anti-hook bias by on them. them. Yeah. <laughs> They'll they, be they doing might, all sorts they, they'll by draw them. fade by that point. <laughs> it honestly looks like we just found a ball at the edge of the range. <laughs> this is all I've got left to it's, play with. <laughs> this is like it, this is what we're down to. 65. Um, I can imagine these being quite low. Yeah, the flight off the first tee shots didn't really jump up and you're faced with a tricky little one with that bunker right in line with the uh, the flag. So it's got to fly probably 60, hasn't it, and stop. I would imagine they're spinny because yeah, they're just I pure can, rubber, aren't they? Yeah, I can imagine them having a bit of grip. Oh, carry, carry. Oh, just hit the down slope and ran off there. Yeah, I was going to say, guy disappeared. No, it's not though, too bad, it? actually. Yeah, a little quick. bit awkward. I think it did just catch the down slope of the bunker, didn't it? But yeah. Listen, first shot, both flew straight. Ball seems quite round. <laughs> Who's Positive. Good? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Made in the UK as well. A sign of unreliability. So we'll see what happens pure, here. Pure craftsmanship. I've got a 
53 yards the knuckle of the bunkers just in the way but well I was, I was out here this morning I must uh, I must admit and the the pin is very very tight to the front so you probably better keep trying to carry it all the way and getting That's it right, to stop yeah. yeah oh what a sound sit tell me stop quick don't they that I'd love to see one close up, see what it's like when it's landed. That sounded unreal, that. That mm. sounded so good. Yeah, pizza's just just a little bit before the green and has run through, but mine's pitched pretty close to pin high down the wind with a 50-yard shot, and it's pulled up quick, so it can be made of just pure urethane. They are spinning, I would imagine, when they're close up. You can imagine into wind as well, like having a... Yeah, First real right. Well, you used to see that lot, like when you watch old videos of the shot like that, real oh, climbing, awesome. stalling flight, which Stop. obviously on a real windy day is not going to be ideal, but I would imagine you can get some pretty spectacular ball flights. That's what it's about, mate, for a YouTube video. Come on. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're talking about. Right, so Pete, for birdie. Oh, sounded lovely. Oh, died across the hole. To hide across the hole. I'll give you that one. We're all friends here. Little seam on the golf ball as well. You what? There's a seam on the. You remember with a Pro V? There's a seam here. So if you, whether you can get Zoom that or in, not. Yeah. There's a seam there where obviously the balls uh, joined together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to put that on your tee peg to try and hit the seam because it would get a little bit more distance out of it. It's the firmest part of the golf ball. Guys, just so you know, Matt is really old. I remember playing with my hickories when they invented the seam. I, I remember when the 65 came out, it was nothing like the 64. I tell you what, looking down at that now, it is miniature. It's tiny, it like is so tiny. Get down to those comments below as well, let us know what the uh, Dunlop 65 was named after. Yeah. True golf historians will know. Birdie put on its way. It's got a chance, you know. Unbelievable scenes yeah. here. <laughs> Prior it starts. <laughs> with a birdie one up wow it's like my uh my spirit has been rejuvenated <laughs> with this gorgeous little golf ball from the past you're just reliving your childhood yeah there, that's right? it oh i remember these <laughs> <laughs> second hole here par five and i can't believe what i'm seeing but there's no driver being pulled out here hell no i'm keeping this little beauty <laughs> four iron yeah, the, the heather around this fairway is uh, palpable. Yeah, it's beastie. Oh my god, that felt so Oh, good. look at that! that. Just... I mean, it's gone 40 yards shorter than I thought it would, but... <laughs> might be the fact that the ball's 45 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to go 4 iron rather than 5 iron. I went four iron then I really rolled the dice and honestly I think that's the shot I've enjoyed the most this golfing season. <laughs> I, I am eager to like hit it. Yeah. Like to see just see what happens with it. It's gonna sound odd. The ball actually feels smaller when you hit it. It doesn't feel like there's as much being compressed on the face. Well there's not. There's not. There you go. <laughs> Scientific fact. <laughs> Matt hitting us with the fact bombs <laughs> today, thank you. Oh, even oh, that just oh, sounded oh, delightful. Oh. Just hold the finish and enjoy, Pete. Hold and enjoy. Smile and wave. I suppose it wasn't a club twirl back in the day when these came out, was no, it? No, I think that's where. It was just a gentleman's acknowledgement <laughs> yeah. and a, a carry on. Tip, tip, bravo. Well there done. Pip, pip. It's to be expected. Five iron, one nine, five front. Oh, God. Oh, it's a grey strike, slightly right. Yeah. Did you get past them? Yeah, I just pitched over there. Oh, uh, I think I just saw it run on it just a touch there. Good shot again, though, mate. Feels great. Flat. It just feels great. You know what's the best bit? The flight, it's so penetrating, mm. it's not. Oh, I'm just too excited, <laughs> Pete. So, a couple of yards further on. So, it's downwind a bit, not really much about, but 180, so. I'm going to play it as I would do, so six iron. Just need to make sure I carry those bunkers, but... Yeah, I think it bounces off anyway, doesn't it? That is 
very fat. Get over that bunker. Oof. It is. I got so I got so excited about that then. <laughs> you just wanted to hit it, you forgot about the golf swing. That's so stupid. Not a bad miss, Peter. That some would say some how, would say how are we gonna see, calculate how are we gonna see ball fight if you don't hit the ball? If True. the divot propels we, it. Yeah, forward. we saw the divot go forwards. But Pit I may you. You know, I'm just a player. Rolling back the Dunlop 65 balls. Call me a 65er. You've got 40 to the flag, pretty much. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. Are you running, spinning? What's the. I'm gonna try like a checky lob wedge just to oh. see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Interesting. It feels like it. it they didn't have lob wedges when these balls were invented, remember? Hey, they didn't have a flange <laughs> when these were invented. That's the. Um, that's the back of the, <laughs> that's the, yeah, back of the okay, golf yeah. club, everyone. Look it, look it up on Wikipedia. Yeah. Not on Google, just on Wikipedia. 40 yards for Peter playing a spinny little lob wedge. I go. would imagine there will be quite a bit of spin on this one. Well, I, I literally wasn't what I tried to do at no. all. Didn't look very committed that one. No, I, I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> oh well. I just, I just didn't know what I was doing. Well, this definitely wasn't about when the 65 came out. You'd, you'd have been considered hey, hey. jolly silly if you'd have been doing this back then. Jolly silly. What are you doing? I say, Matthew, what, what is this you're doing? You're stomping around like a gazelle. Right. I suppose gazelles don't stomp. It's more of a prance, yeah, isn't more it? Of a, more of a graze, a, a canter. Yeah. Cantering around like a gazelle on the green. Right. A little eagle put here, Pete. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Dunlop 65s could be my ball of choice moving <laughs> forward. Knew what's in the bag dropping soon. Wow, it's heating up now, by the way. I know. Black was a good choice today. <laughs> And start pulling out a carton of milk to drink in a minute. Oh, soft off the face, you see. Yeah, that felt a little bit different, that one. Didn't feel quite as. Did you not get the seam? No, I didn't get the old seam. I did line the seam up on that previous putt, which I think made a huge difference. You can you can really pull off quite a miraculous birdie here, Pete. You've flushed a four iron, duffed a six iron, hit a mediocre pitch, and if you just roll it in on the seam here now. Oh, seam, 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 seam. Seam the ball up, then life will all be good. Okay, got it. I can't uh, tell you, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, laughing. how good this course looks at the moment. All the heather's coming out, it's like... It is beautiful. Oh. Real treat to play here. I'm, I'm joining tomorrow. I'm really happy, mate. I you know, it's all right, this golfing lark, isn't it? I'll be a lot happier if this goes. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> Whack not used to putting with a seam are you? It just looks so weird like behind the ball. <laughs> it's miniature isn't it? Well done, good five. <laughs> I was chuckling away to yourself. Thanks mate. The UK lined up to the hole, can he bring it home for the blighty? No. The hole is like the European Customs Union and it has rejected the UK. Bit, bit disappointed with a three putt par there. I'd hit two great iron shots and really let the ball down there. No, really let right. it no, down. Five's good. Five's good on that one. No. Right, hole in one alert. 130 yards. This could be the secret. secret. Is this the secret sauce? Yeah, what you've been missing all this time. You needed a 45 year old golf ball. Mate, if this goes in, I'm switching big time to the 65. I'm going to buy up like the entire eBay stockpile of them. Where did you get these, by the way? Funny story. <laughs> no, um, was just on eBay randomly looking, and uh, someone was clearing out their um, their parents' garage, who'd moved house or something, and they found them. So I got a box of, I think it was ten of them, and then some other ultras as well that are in like a clear wrapper. Right. So whether they're, you know, a little bit, a little bit newer. Yeah, I've got nine or ten. Yes, yeah, so when clear when clear plastic came in. Yeah. That crazy new invention. So yeah, steel. I paid one pound ninety for them and three pound postage. No, yeah, you did like, for twenty golf balls. I don't think they quite knew what they were. <laughs> I was gonna say you'd be paying the best part of hundred quid for them, I would have thought. Yeah, easily. Right, one thirty wedge. Yeah, these are definitely the most expensive balls to play with this year. Mm. 
felt so good, I pulled it. Sounded oh. good. Middle of the green. Nice I'll tell you what, I can't believe how quick they bite. Literally. Dip. I don't know, I've not struck one into a green yet. I'll... Let us know when you find out. I'm a little bit worried about introducing a newish wedge to this bike. Yeah. Put a bit of dirt on your grooves just to uh, keep it intact for a few more holes. I think it's held up pretty well so far though. It yeah. looks very, very... With the amount of shots you've shape. hit as well. You are. With the amount of shots that you've hit as well. <laughs> no, no. Meow. You're going to be hitting a gentleman using a 65 that. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Pitching yeah, wedge? Just wedge. Straight at it. Pins behind the bunk so I won't be able to see it go in. But He's, he's confident folks. I've said that on every par three since I was like 10 years old, so it's obviously not working for me. <laughs> Change your tone. <laughs> yeah, God, this is never going to go in. Well, straight, straight at it. That could actually have chances. That looked really good, mate. If <laughs> that looked really good. Well, you can see it now. You've been. <laughs> it's not gone in. I'm a little bit devastated, but I tell you what. It must have been close that because it's gone past the hole. Well, the first sign of a decent strike, an actual backspin. Look at that. What a really small pitch mark. <laughs> What's the wear like on the golf ball? So far. Nice. So far, so good, really. Holding up. No tears, no scuffs. And I've flushed four shots. Flushed five them shot. all. Fryer put for a birdie across the green to halve the hole. That was conceded. Got the line, yeah. That felt lovely off the face, seamed it and everything. Uh, you can take that one away, mate. Oh, thanks. It's all right. All square. One up, Peter. That is the secret. That is the secret. Two back to back wins there. Best hole on the course, maybe. It's beauty, an absolute beauty. 122 yards. I'm worried about spinning that a little bit too much. Oh, the ball's playing too much into his mind now. I'm just going to be a knockdown wedge here. Just a little, little three quarter holdy off one. Solid. Pretty happy with that. Oh, the oh, hello. Look at that. We got some. I think I've just taken a little bit of Dunlop 65 with me. <laughs> Why, where are you going? <laughs> going to Dirty Town, mate. That's where I'm going. <laughs> just a tiny little held off wedge. What are you going to go with? Same. Same. Because that kind of sat down and stopped very quickly. I imagine if went well, with a 50 degree, it'd be ripping off the front. So problem isn't it? As soon as they get a bit active they're lively these ones. Oh. That be the first sign of wear on that ball, it was a little skinny. Spin. It kind of had a bit of a, almost like a bit more of a rainbow flight on that yeah. as well. That didn't really reach its peak. No. Oh. Might have a big smile on that golf ball now I think. <laughs> However mate, first in for a birdie, put the pressure on. Yeah. Cla a classic match play moment, some would say. Yeah, I'm going your, your route of no seeming. It's the way forward. It's got a break, got a break. Mm. <sighs> Sneaky flat, this green. Sneaky flat. Take it away, solid three. <sighs> this to inflict a little bit more pain, Peter. Yeah, so 
we've got the same distance slightly up the hill though this one he's only gone and done it he goes to two up with three back-to-back -back wins you know what i honestly think i think if the ball was bigger that would have caught more of the lip yeah true that actually went in we'll call it a half then <laughs> i went stand on ceremony let fry go 405 yards but back into wind so i'm thinking maybe a three wood on this one sling it around the corner you brave man <laughs> The actual wording of that is you stupid man and I am not going to be doing that anyway so I've gone three iron I'm really really tempting fate here three yeah well I'm not going to say anything but what yeah, just a little bit more concentration maybe on this one this by the way is definitely the widest fairway on the uh of Formby ladies it's absolutely massive so bunker a little fade Oh, tiny I mean, draw. That is just pure. Oh. Oh. That looks like it's hanging on the edge. It is of hanging. The you know, when, I, when that was in the air, I forgot it was an old ball. I was like, that's 40 by it. It's done. I've gone round the corner. Oh, a little bit roughy, Peter. The draw, bit... Ooh, Ooh. Well. Just in the shadow, well, just shy of the shadow. We both didn't cover ourselves in glory on those sea shorts yeah. exactly, did we? I can see mine at least. <laughs> this is true. The hot streak might be coming to an end because that is at least nearly fingers deep oh my God. into the rough there, Peter. I would imagine oh it is a, a hack with a lob wedge would probably be the most sensible approach. That is thick, that is thick. This is a, uh, yeah. This is the biggest test the 65's faced so thus far. What's it like out of rough? It biggest can still backspin. So right. Uh-oh. Oh no, sit down, sit down. Sit. <laughs> that is punishing that rough. I would have preferred for that to roll back in. I would 100% have preferred that to roll back in. The 65 are the 65s are facing us with some unique problems this hole. Some back foot trap draw. Nah, no chance. Just have to chip it out. No. The beautiful thing about the 65, what they talk about, or the sort of the legends of the uh, the golf club I grew up at. Oh well, you could really shape a ball with a 65. So. I'm actually going to aim about 60 yards right here. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah. After I uh, get out of the bunker, that is. I'm going to wait. Well, I say 60 yards. It's probably 160. Just close the face and just a big sweeping hook. Okay. Is it a shot you can see, Peter? I, I, I can see probably 16 ways this could go very wrong. I can only see one way of it going right if I don't close the face. Mate, remember, you've only got one of these golf balls, okay? And over there looks like some kind of heather Aiming lap. at those bunkers. Okay. This is going to be mega. <laughs> it, did have, it did have some walk spin on it, I'll give you that in play no drama here well i tell you what that was uh that was very well thought out mate yeah. well peter this, from this, this hole from right rough right. to left heather really putting the 65 through its paces here worst thing is like out of rough that rough i kind of knew what was going to happen you just need to wear a love wedge out of this i don't know like how it's going to come out can it jump can it not i'm gonna go nine iron just name the center of the green flag just here ball back Ooh. Well, at least it's on some shortest grass. Yeah. Up and down for a five. Big positives here. <laughs> Matt has 130 yards left in for his third shot. We are making quite a meal out of this hole. I'm very much in shank territory here, but Matt hasn't hit a shank 
since 1965, so I think we'll be safe. I'll be good is the shout. Good it is. Nice shot. This hole is making us look a bit stupid, man. Well, speak for yourself. I I'll played a you miraculous speak, duck hook through my legs and hit it to 15 feet with a wedge. You've just been chopping it around. Oh, that came out soft. Oh, that came out just so soft. It's unbelievable. That's the butteriness of a 65, Peter. 54 degree wedge well, last shot. I'll tell you what, shall I hit my putt first while we're... Right then, Pete to uh, make me putt, I would say. I'm just behind him here, you can see just in on the left. Ooh, stay pretty straight there. So that's a six. Are you, are you giving up there, Peter? That for a four. That's for a four. Can't touch it, can I? Thank you, sir. So match now, one up to Peter. The run came to an end with a <laughs> swift, quite, quite a swift double bogey. Uh, 251 yards, mate, and you are eyeing it again. Five iron. I'm going to hit this about 150 and leave myself 100. <laughs> Do you know what? They, they, I can't be bothered with the wood. They feel that great off an iron. It just feels wrong to even pull the wood out of the bag. Ooh, a, bit, a little bit skinny it almost sounded, that. Yeah, a tiny bit. You know what, Pete? It's in play. I'm happy. Be on the bunker. A few more dimples off that ball. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the first sign of madness. Well, Peter's going wood. All I'm thinking is if I birdie this hole, well, I'm not saying you won't birdie, but if I win this hole, Go it's on me. two to play. But if you lose the golf ball, it's quite a bit of room up there. Okay. I mean, I've no idea how this ball's going to react, but... Yeah. We've not had such high impact <laughs> speeds yet. I'm expecting it to go quite high in the air. Can play for a tiny bit of fade? Not a lot. Yeah, just to get it spinning up a bit more. Oh, how good did that sound? Sounded pure. It's curved a lot. It's okay there, but curved away quite a bit. Mm. Oh, that sounded amazing. Left yourself a perfect little yardage here. Sat up like a coconut, that 65. Yeah. According to this, I've got, what hole are we on? Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Seven. Maybe Seven. eight. Seven. Seven. Just go with your feelings. I was going to say, I've not got 180 going to that flag. 72 to the middle looks about 65 58 into wind it's sat up like a cherry this is going to be one stop spin in the hole i think you should definitely play these wedge shots as though it is a normal ball I, i've not seen any no, kind of no loss of distance there. they don't come off as quick do they with a wedge so the springy factor technical term springy factor yeah, yeah springy factor is a real effector Oh, that, oh, that sounded a bit funky. Oh, real safe that one. Real heel into the ground and <laughs> just just quality. <laughs> just just all around quality. Thank I looked you. Looked at my grip before and thought, wow, that's strong. <laughs> Don't do anything about it though. Swing the golf club. <laughs> okay. So Pete's probably on. left himself with a a 45 yard pitch from there. Coming over this bunker, little down slope. And there is the flag looking back over this way, ladies and gentlemen. Stunning view at the moment. I would imagine you've got 60. Yeah. 60 degree in his hand. Can be aggressive. They seem to stop quickly, these balls, with it's a wedge. Into wind as well, isn't it? So. Mm. Let's see what he's got, folks. It's looking good. Oh, just ran by the hole. Gorgeous little pitch, that. Well done. Don't be giving me that. It was beautifully played. Best pitch I've seen you in years. Right, Matthew. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you need to hold this. I'm not saying that, but I really like the look of mine. I even saw it on the way past. I know the break. Gosh. I'd actually class this as my favorite green on the course as well with the clubhouse in the background. Jeez. Both clubhouses in the background. 
I've sent my horde of midges to attack Matt. <laughs> They're actually on me. They can smell the red-headed blood. Even though the, <laughs> the red head is no longer there. Pushed it. Ooh, went, didn't it? Pushed it. And take it away. The scene is set. Gorgeous looking clubhouse from Formby ladies there in the background. The big one for Formby. Downhill, left to right. -er. It wasn't left to right. Why did I? Oh, so stupid. I tricked him. I knew that was straight. You've, you've become like this little. The master sneaky, of mind games. <laughs> little sneaky Yoda. Just before you're about to hit, it just say something like, oh, the wind's just kicked up there. Or, oh, a little bit left to right down there. That was so straight. It was a tiny bit right to left. Just always do the opposite of what I say, and you'll be fine. Hey, Matt, so you got a bit of wood in your hands there? Metal. Metal. Maybe when this ball was out, it would have been wood, but now, <laughs> pure steel. And is this for year five? This is the little five baffy. I've not got a three wood at the moment. Oh yeah, you got that SF Tech thing in, haven't you? I've uh, put this in because it goes just as far. All right, mate. Well, tell you what, that's a gorgeous looking. Just it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just lovely. I'm just not sure this is the right time to pull out that wood. You know, it's a lot tighter than the last stall. I had a bit of leeway. You can't get in my head like I can get in yours. Good try though. No. The thing is, you think I'm trying to get in there rather than actually I'm already there cut cut a little bit cut a little bit I think it's just in the semi I think yeah I think I've seen it bounce a couple of times you know the weird thing is what I've not seen so far which I expected what I expected a lot more of is actual shape yeah the, well when you're playing with two two riflesmen Think how much I slice a normal golf ball. I think like. if I got my driver out, you could see some real bubber esque <laughs> movement on the golf ball. I'm going to hit pretty much what? Try and hit the same shot as I did last hole. Get a little bit of fade. Yeah, yours moved a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't quite. Literally. Just safe. Literally that off the head here. Now that curved a fair bit. Well, no wonder we were seeing it bounce. Bounced, bounced it over the rough. Look I believe at the it was... thickness of that rough. Look at the thickness of that rough. Look where you've ended up on it. Well, when you've got precision like I have. Oh, right. Was this your target? Was it? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Great angle into the flag here. Mm. At least you've got some alignment to help with it. Look at the positives. Six iron. It's flat car it now. Mm. I think you're in a bit of bother. Yeah, I, I saw mine bouncing, but I can't see it from over here. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Be good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, what a bounce and roll. I think, I think the pin's at the back, and that's probably just about climbing onto the front. It kind of hit and stopped, don't, didn't don't it? Don't sully the memory of such a beautiful golf shot. Wow. Shall I just shut up and yeah, just let you save? And, okay. Shut up and put a replay in there. Not where you want to be, Peter. It's not where I thought I was either. I thought I was kind of safe. Maybe I saw that old disused tissue. Mm. Oh well. Ball's just down here in the heather. Now, 190 to the front, probably 200 to the flag. I suppose the advantage here is that there's so much kind of open space in front of me that I can just try and have a normal go at it. So yeah, I'm going to wait at five. It's going to release when it lands like that. So <laughs> it'll have top spin on it, I would imagine. <laughs> there's not going to be much ball and face contact. <laughs> there might be something in the middle. Actually, it feels oddly a long way above my feet. I think it might be sat up on top of it. <sighs> really getting into his head now. Uh oh. Do you know that path you found over there? Mm. I think there's one over there. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. You know, the good news is the bad news. Bad. 
bad news is the path that I'm on is not quite as well maintained as the one you were on. Good. I found it. Oh. Well, there we go. Oh, oh yes. I just got this look at that clump behind the ball there. That's a gigantagon. 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 Clump. <laughs> right, one of those. Faced with a bit of a sticky situation as well, as you can see the bunker then the flag, so oh. maybe pitching a little bit left of it or I'm just gonna play like a bunker shot. Okay. I don't think well nothing to lose. A hit and hope. There's the match to lose, just FYI. I'm wondering. Oh, he's played it lovely. Yeah, just rolling on. It's probably wrong, although they'll be disappointed with that. Yeah. Well done. It's a drop and stop technology, the Dolop 65. That's what they were known for. <laughs> That's what they were known for. Yeah. After a stunning strike with the second shot, Thanks. way too much backspin, but a put for an eagle, and to halve the match going into the last hole, where drivers will be Smoked. presented to the Dunlop 65. Entirely sure how the lowest spinning sim driver in history is going to react to it, but probably just about right. <laughs> per perfect matchup. Across to the green and down. How's the pace looking? That's pretty good. Pretty much a gimme. Some work to do now, Peter left with a 40 footer i think it's still you i'm not entirely sure my putter and this ball get along that well on long foot hmm. seems to be flying off with some velocity they do jump a little bit off the face on a longer one i would say would you like me to go you know just knock it in so i'll try it Well done, sir. For the win. Wow. Bold. We are level going into the last hole where it's driver time. You ready? Tell you what, they've held up well, haven't they? Considering Mine, hit all irons and some quite a few wedges. Mine looks absolutely immaculate. I've got a bit of a gouge on mine there, and one other more. And there's like a little bit of a, like abrasion on it, but... You have to try to chop it off like three times, so I'm yeah. surprised it's held up that with my tooth. And it comes down to this, 320 yard par four, back into a tiny, tiny bit of breeze. It's almost died down now though. And you can see the pin there just through the gully. It's a little bit uphill, so to actually get there, I think it's going to be a pretty big ask. Can I... Uh... Can I help Can you, I help Jeremy? You, sir? These balls are going to be another 75 years old by the time we finish. Right then. Monumental moment, Peter. Uh, it's a pretty big moment. Now, you did lose a ball last time you played this hole. True. And that's my synopsis done of the ninth hole here at Formula Ladies. Thanks, sir. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Wow, that looks small. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know if that's more confidence inspiring or less. It's just weird. Like, it just looks so strange. Are these right. balls, do you think these balls are actually legal now? Are these going to be too small? Too small, yeah. Too small? Yeah. yeah. Playing with an illegal 45 year old golf ball. Oh, oh Matt, what a shot that is. <laughs> I have abs <laughs> I've absolutely no idea where that's finished. That it's looks right incredible. In the front of the green. How good did that look? Oh, I mean, that was class. <laughs> so good. You know the funny thing? A bee literally flew right underneath my face as I was about to hit that. Lucky bee. Lucky bee. You had a lucky fly. fly bee. Oh, mate. That was good. That was very, very I enjoyable. That. I appreciate it. So annoying. What, where did it pitch? It, 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 the top of the bank on the left. Yeah. It pitched like into the top of it rather than just over the, it. Oh. If it had pitched over it, that'd have been really good. Great flight, though. Hey, listen, I'm not complaining. I'm not. It's, it, it's findable. It's findable. So summing this up a little bit, walking down the last, I am actually really, really, really surprised. I'm not going to say shocked because that's a strong word, but almost shocked at how good. 
these golf balls are. I was expecting them to be flying all over the place. I was expecting the distance to be zero, but it's actually, it's actually pretty good. I mean, they're not flying quite as far as the balls do now, but it's not crazy different. It's not obscenely different. Spin around the greens feels good, not sure about it. With the putter, it just feels very strange. Obviously, it looks really weird as well, being small. But yeah, impressive. Well, Fry, you're not going to get much straighter than that shot, mate. Wasn't too bad, that one, was it? This is the path through the uh, middle of the valley going to the green, and there is Matthew's ball smack bang in the middle of it. Just oh. a pure pleasure it's been. It has been really good, actually. Very, very enjoyable. I'm very pleased that you brought these, mate. Right, 43 yards. Need a little spinny 58 to uh, help for me seal the W. Is that right? Yes. Oh, it's come out super soft again. Go in then. Oh, just a little bit beyond. Nice it's shot there. Oh, just, just You're in love, aren't you? Yeah. Ben Hogan irons and some 65s. Match made in heaven. A real, uh, a real hack by Peter here. He's four yards off the uh, three yard wide path. So <laughs> he's been punished with some deep rough. <laughs> yeah. Like proper thick. It's like not the rough that's on the rest of the course. It's not wispy. It's like Lush thick. parkland rough. Middle of Manchester rough. Oh right. 60 degree bump it out and let it trundle. Yeah, I don't think I've got to worry about this having too much spin. That patch. Oh, too far. Hit it. Sit. 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 Ooh. Just hung on, Peter. Battle of the blades to finish the vlog. <laughs> it comes down to this. Peter's got 25 feet just off the green. And I have about 10 feet. Can he hold it in? For a tremendous birdie. Fantastic drive both of us there. Let's see what his blade's saying. It's on its way. It's on its way. Oh, that is harsh. He's turned his back to the camera, folks, in sheer disappointment. Oh, well, you can have that one. Well done. If I hold this, I think this is my fourth birdie. Is it? Oh. Right then, for the win. For the crown of Dunlop 65 champion 2020. Emulate the great Henry Cotton. It is it. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I'm so look. happy about that. You look how much it means to you. It's just been thoroughly enjoyable that Peter Great really little, really enjoyable come out though, last two holes as well mate that was that was really really cool really really enjoyable yeah something and different wasn't it and actually like shocked at how good the they balls perform yeah they stood up like how good a condition it's still in well, it's got just like a few little bits of abrasion on it but I was expecting it to be egg -based. yeah I like, thought it would really egg big gash in them especially with new wedges You've got new wedges, I've got a new set of irons, and so it's fresh grooves, but they've stood the test of time there. They've, you know, got me around there with three birds. So guys, just want to say a massive, massive thank you for watching. Big thanks to Matt for actually digging these balls, finding them, and bringing them here to for me, ladies, which is absolutely beautiful this evening. If you haven't already, please, first of all, subscribe to Matt's channel. Make sure you like the video as well, in congratulatory celebration of his victory here on this fine summer's evening. And if you feel a little bit sorry for me, then why don't you subscribe Throw to this as well. Throw me one as well. Throw me a sympathy subscribe. That'd be absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right, guys, see we'll see you, you next time.